au ambaye inasema lazima upige kura kama wanataka kujiondoa ni haki yao wajiondoe lakini vile sisi tuasema ni haki pia kwa wakenya ambao tuamini ndio wengi zaidi wapate nafasi ya kupiga kura na kuamua kiongozi wao sisi tumejiandaa kikamilifu kuhakikisha ya kwamba tumepatia wa Kenya usalama wa kutosha ndio waweze kutimiza haki yao ya kikatiba na ya kidemokrasia kupiga kura na hakuna mtu anayo uwezo wa kuzuia mkenya atimize hiyo haki yake hata mimi kama rais sina uwezo wa kusimamisha mkenya kwa sababu nchi yetu ni nchi ambaye yatawalwa na katiba na sheria na sheria yasema ya kwamba ni haki ya mkenya kupiga kura na ni kazi yetu kama serikali kuhakikisha ya kwamba huyo mkenya amepatiwa nafasi na ulinzi wa kutosha ndio atimize huo wajibu wake ndio atimize hiyo haki yake ya kuchagua kiongozi yake kulingana na katiba yetu na kulingana na nchi yetu na msimamo wetu wa kidemokrasia Mimi nasema hivi na labda sana sana ni kwa sababu ya mtamushi ya wenzetu ambao wako kwa, kwa upinzani ya kwamba na tumeona tayari katika sehemu mbali mbali wakijaribu ku disrupt training ya IBC officials ambaye inaendelea na ni vizuri wa Kenya wajue na ndio umeona hata maofisa wa usalama wameanza kuchukua hatua ya kwamba hiyo si haki na huo ni uvunjaji wa sheria kwa sababu huwezi usimamishe uchaguzi ambao katiba imetuambia lazima uandaliwe na ambaye mahakama pia imesema lazima uandaliwe haki yako yaishia kuamua kama utapiga kura ama utapiga kura lakini lazima upatie wenzako pia nafasi watimize haki yao ya kupiga kura wenzangu nataka niwaulize kutoka wakati mahakama iliamua vile iliamua sisi hatujatoa sharti hata moja kwa tume la uchaguzi yani IBC watende hivi wafanye hivi au lingine sisi sharti yetu imekuwa moja peke yake IBC itende haki kwa wakenya kulingana na waamuzi wa mahakama kuu waandae uchaguzi wa Kenya wachague kiongozi wao sisi hatuna masharti yeyote na hakuna mtu ambaye anaweza kusema ya kwamba tumeenda kwa IB. sisi tumekuwa tukisema kwa IBC kitu kimoja peke yake andaa uchaguzi wa Kenya waamua sisi hatuna sharti nyingine we, we are very clear the only dialogue that we perceive is a dialogue between candidates and their running mates and the people of Kenya and that dialogue as far as we in Jubilee are concerned has been ongoing since the court ruling and we will continue and in fact today I'm due in Bongoma again to have that dialogue with the people of Kenya as to why they should elect a Jubilee government for another period of five years because that is the only dialogue that is uh, on the table an election so you're not planning any dialogue with the opposition for, for 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 we we are planning a dialogue with the electorate because we don't see at this stage in time what dialogue there can be the only dialogue there can be is for all of us as kenyans to meet 
and to commit ourselves to having a peaceful election. That is a dialogue. And we can shake hands and say, yes, that we as candidates yeah, are willing to accept the will of the people. We will conduct our campaigns peacefully. Yeah, and we shall accept the will of the people. But the, the, there is no other dialogue other than that. But that dialogue, me as Uhuru Kenyatta, my deputy William Ruto, we are ready at any time to dialogue on how we can have an election, yeah? No, on how we will uh, conduct ourselves during the election, all right? And to commit ourselves to peace, to unity, and to progress for our nation. Oh, I, I was very clear. I was very clear. When I talked about reconciliation, I told Kenyans to pray for reconciliation, to pray for peace. The same thing I'm saying I'm willing to talk even to Raila about. Yeah? Yeah? Just as much as I've asked Kenyans to pray for peace, to pray for unity, yeah? I'm also willing to engage uh, anybody yeah? on the agenda of peace and unity, right? And to keep our country together as we, as we, as we move forward. So that is the appeal we made yesterday. Yes. I think that is a very unfortunate statement. Ya kwamba mtu anaweza kutisha wa Kenya ya kwamba hawataweza kutimiza haki yao. Kwa sababu hakuna mtu amemzuia kutimiza haki yake ya kusipokuwa kwa debi. Hiyo ni haki yake. Kwa nini ajiamulia ya kwamba yeye yako na haki ya kunyima wa Kenya wenzake nafasi ya kupiga kura kama hivyo ndivyo wameamua. So all I can say it is a very unfortunate statement coming from a national leader that you can threaten your own citizens with uh, lawlessness if they exercise their democratic right. It's a very sad situation. Oh, absolutely. We're very ready. We're very ready. We're very ready. Nasasa inaendelea. Sio mpaka tala 26. Ata baada ya tala 26 kutakuwa na usalama. Na sasa wakati tunaongea hiyo exercise inaendelea. Na tumehakikisha na wengine wameshikwa wale ambao wali lete hiyo rapsha. Kwa sababu lazima tuhakikishe ya kwamba wa Kenya wamepitiwa haki yao vile nilisema hapo awali. Na lipo mimi nasema kwa sababu kwa ukweli. Many, the ones I call the silent majority, to be able to exercise their right and continue with their lives. And that is what I stand for. Yes. Well, they're on my desk and we're still uh, considering and looking at uh, various issues and uh, you will know in due course what our decision is. Mimi na shukuru sana kwa sababu ya ili amani ya mbae bekweko, badu uchumi una hold. But it cannot hold forever. Because uncertainty is not good for any economy. Yeah? Na ndipo tunasema, hata kama uchumi umeweza kushikilia na huja, anza kuzorota. Tukiendelea vile tunaendelea, bila waamuzi, bila uchaguzi, mambo ya weza kuwa mabaya zaidi, wanainchi waanza kupitisa kazi zao, wanainchi waanza kutoza soko, Turizi mietu yumie, na ndipo tuwasema, tumepatiana na fasi ya kutosha ya wa Kenya kuexercise their democratic right, lakini sasa ni wakati wataifaletu liweze disonge mbele kwa sababu uchumi ukiharibika, hauharibiki kwa mtu moja, waharibika kwa wanainchi wetu wote wataifaletu la Kenya, na wasimamisha maendeleo ambaye ya mepangwa 
ya kuhakikisha ya kwamba tumepata kazi kwa vijana wetu infrastructure program zetu zimeendelea investors wameendelea kuja na mambo mengine kama haya na haya nafikiri ndiyo mambo yale ambao wa Kenya wana haja naye zaidi hata kushinda huu uchaguzi sorry ni masaa mimi na uhakikishie ya kwamba usalama upo usalama upo kuna wale ambao watajaribu kuchafua lakini tumejiandaa kikamilifu kuhakikisha ya kwamba wa Kenya watapata nafasi ya kutimiza haki yao ya kikatiba kupiga kura na kuchagua viongozi wao yangu yangu ni yale tu nimekuwa nikisema kwa wakenya wenzangu mimi na washukuru vile mlijitokeza kwa amani tarehe nane mwezi wa nane na mkapiga kura na mkaamua na waomba tena kwa heshima kubwa sana tarehe 26 wiki ijayo tena mjitokeze muamue na mtupigie kura mimi uhuru kenyata na naibu wangu William Ruto ndio kazi ambaye tumeanzisha tuweze tuendelee naye na tuweze tuhakikishe ya kwamba tumeinua hali ya maisha ya wananchi wetu tukiwa tutategemea msingi wa chama chetu cha jubilii msingi wa amani msingi wa umoja na maendeleo ambaye yatakuwa ya manufaa kwa kila mkenya pahali popote alipo kwa hivyo langu tuwe na amani tuendelee kuhubiri amani tumetenga siku ya sande ijayo kwa wakenya wote waungane pamoja na majirani wao waombe amani na waombe umoja na tuwe na uchaguzi ambao utakuwa wa amani kwa hivyo mimi langu wenzangu vile mlijitokeza tarehe 20 tarehe nane mwezi wa nane twaomba tena kwa heshima kubwa mjitokeze kwa wingi zaidi tupige hii kura tulete ushindi kwa chama chetu cha jubilii na tuweze kuendelea na mipangilio ya maendeleo ambayo tuko nayo nataka niwaambie kitu kimoja ni viongozi wengi ambao baada ya tarehe nane walijamulia wenyewe wengi ndio wanatutafuta viongozi wengi ambao walichaguliwa pia na vyama mbalimbali mbali, ambao wamejitokeza kusema wanataka kufanya kazi na chama cha jubilee sisi hakuna mtu tumejinunua nataka nikwambie hata siku ya leo kuna wengi pia ambao wanagojea tarehe 26 ambao wako katika chama ambazo ziaita chama vyama vya upinzani na ambao tayari wametuambia sisi hatuwezi tuongee sasa baada ya tarehe 26 sisi tuko tayari kufanya kazi pamoja nanyi na ndipo mmeona ya kwamba sehemu nyingi hata ambazo upinzani walishinda kumekuwa na amani kwa sababu wa Kenya hawataki furu viongozi hawa hawataki furu na ndipo mnaona hawataki hata kuparticipate na hii maandamano na mmejiona nyinyi wenyewe na mimi nataka nikuhakikishie ya kwamba baada ya tarehe sita wacha wale ambao tayari wamekuja mtaona wengi zaidi ambao pia wamechaguliwa katika hiyo vyama vya upinzani wakija kufanya kazi pamoja nasi kwa sababu sisi tuwasema tuwaheshimu chama wako naye haja yetu sisi ni kuungana kama viongozi tuhakikishe ya kwamba tuletea wananchi wetu maendeleo ya kutosha God bless you nimesema asante